back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I am going to take us on a lovely little picnic at the park. Um, it's beautiful outside today and I've been stuck inside in front of the computer just working away. So let's take advantage of this good weather and head out. I'm going to take care of a few small things and then um, we'll get right going because I'm starving. I'm sure you are too. So let's go. We went to Jolly Bee. All right, we made it to the park. It's nice and breezy out today. Got a nice little shaded spot under this tree right here. Looks nice. Let us dig in. So I went to the one place I like to get fried chicken from, which is Jollibee. Um, if you're familiar with Philippine cuisine, you've probably known this as they're most famous for their fried chicken and spaghetti. So I got the uh, two-piece fried chicken with the spaghetti. It does come with some gravy. I got one peach mango pie, this is my favorite, and their ube pie. Dip the chicken in there. I grew up with, you know, the other chicken places. Before Mama Jane, I came to the US. I go to Jollibee quite a bit, so it does bring back a lot of childhood memories. Oh yeah, pineapple cruncher, it's pretty good. The best way I could describe the spaghetti here is um, the sauce is a bit sweeter than your normal Italian uh, tomato-based sauces. So rather than it being a bit tart from the tomato, there's a bit of sugar added, so it makes it sweet. And yes, there is hot dog in the spaghetti. Devoured the spaghetti. Saving the other piece of chicken for later. I went to another place that was uh, right next to Jolly Bee and got us uh, some banana cues, some gumpia, which is fried egg rolls. I didn't want to get a lot since I had a <laughs> all this already. Vegetable gumpia. Egg roll uh, is called Lumpiang Shanghai. This one has some ground meat in it with some vegetables here and there, and you dip it in some vinegar. Mm. Now to have a little bit of the vegetable lumpia, which is a vegetable egg roll. Mm. In the inside, you'd have a mix of different vegetables, onions, carrots, string beans, mung beans in there as well. So really it's a mix of different ones that you could wrap into a wonton wrapper. Let's dip that. Now to try the ube pie. I haven't tried this one before, so, uh, and I love ube, um, anything ube flavored. I guess purple yam uh, to describe it in English. Taro would be another way to describe it. It's a nice little pocket of deliciousness. Mm. I love how the crust has a crunch to it. Oh, it's really good. Now let's try a piece of my favorite. I love this one a lot. It's really good. I find it's more, more peach than mango, but it's a good combination between the two. If you have like those uh, apple pie pockets from McDonald's, it's like the same concept. Probably way better. Mm. 
I can eat this one all day. Gonna dig into the uh, banana queue. Mm. This is pretty much sweetened plantains. It's uh, sauteed and a little bit of caramel, brown sugar. Hala hala. It has shaved ice on it, in it, like kind of melted on the right here. But the best way to describe it is everything but the kitchen sink dessert. This has beans, ube, evaporated milk, ube ice cream, leche flan, cheese ice cream. We do have cheese ice cream in the Philippines. Jackfruit, everything you could think in there. And I mix it up a little bit. Try to get underneath. The English translation would literally be mix mix. That's what it is. So you just mix it up until it's nice and I'm making a mess of myself. Hey. This really could be a meal in itself. up ready to go I'm stuffed <laughs> but it was very delicious and can't wait to uh, go home and take a nap <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me on this lovely little picnic lunch at the park I hope you had a good relaxing and fulfilling time as well um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet as I'll have a new adventure for you next week which I do it's a trip to Big Bear I hope you're doing well let me know down in the comments down below and until then, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.